Welcome to Off the Wall, a video series about the hat life. Alex from your Gorm Brothers Virtual Styling Service here again, and today we're talking all things bucket hats. All right, so spring is here, summer is approaching, and in my opinion, this is the season where it's easiest to wear buckets because you're gonna have a lot more context in with which to wear it, whether it's travel, going to the beach, going to the pool, playing a game of golf, whatever it is. You need a little bit more sun protection because we're probably out in that hot sun a little bit more, obviously, than fall, winter. So, I'm gonna walk you through the two shapes that we do here at Gorham Brothers. Let's get right to it. Okay, so we have two distinct shapes of buckets that we do here at Gorham Brothers. Now, one of them I'm wearing on my head, this is the Osaka, and I'm gonna explain the difference between this and the other one. The other one here is obviously wool, this is from our fall winter collection. However, we're gonna release summer versions of this in a nice cotton and terry cloth come later in the season. So this shape is still gonna be relevant to what I'm talking about now. You're really gonna see the difference of them once I try them both on. But let's start with Osaka. Okay, so this hat is a Japanese cotton with a lining. Very nice, thin hat. I can wear this in pretty early spring, so if it's a little bit cool out, can still wear it then, till when it gets hot. I'll be wearing this at the pool at the beach for sure. Notice it does have that distinctive button, a slight contrast, I love that detail. What makes this really unique besides the material is the depth of the crown. If we're looking right here, you can see it's a little bit more shallow, so it's not gonna go super, super deep. You'll really see the contrast between this and the other shape once I try that one on. And then the other thing is the brim, not only is the width different than our other model, but also the shape of it. It's a down brim, but it's a fairly shallow down. Again, you'll see this contrasted with the other shape. Inch and three quarters of brim right here. My favorite thing about this hat, you don't wanna wear it? Just roll it up. Okay, so. You're gonna see right when I put this on how much deeper this is, right? We've already established that Osaka is a much more shallow version of a bucket with a shorter brim, different shaped brim. Let's take a look here. Right away, look how much deeper this goes down on my head, right? A lot deeper of a crown. Obviously the band is part of that, so we just have a lot more material here and that brim is a true down brim, meaning it's all down right here. I can flex it up if I want to, or I can keep it down and angle it back, but right there, you have a completely different shape. Now, the, the brim here is about two and a quarter inches wide, so a little bit wider by about a half inch or so, roughly, than the Osaka, and again, a much more vertically down shape as opposed to the slightly shallower down shape of the other one. Again, this is a fall model. Keep an eye out for the summer ones. Okay, so hopefully that help explains the two distinctive shapes of buckets that we do here at Gorham Brothers. If you have any questions, obviously leave a comment on this video, or you can open up that chat box and ask me or one of our stylists, or you can book a straight appointment with me if you want. I'll be doing a video this summer for sure showing you how to style out different looks of hats, and I'm gonna include this one in it for sure. Suffice to say, Bucket is the easiest travel hat, kind of a just easy companion to have, even if it's a something you just leave in your bag, you just there when you need it. it. Takes up very little space, super durable, great for a lot of different conditions. You can get this wet and not have to worry about it, unlike, say, a straw hat. So just consider this as part of your summer hat wardrobe. Don't sleep. Till I see you that next time, Keep on living that hat life.